Grade 6 Math, number 12.2, Estimate the Circumference of a Circle. Do you remember last year from 5th grade, we talked about the radius of a circle and how it's a line segment with one end point at the center and the other end point at the edge of a circle on the line? Like my red one right here, see the radius? And do you remember that the diameter is a line segment that passes through the center point and its ends are on the line of the circle and it cuts the circle in half? See the green diameter? And do you remember the circumference is the distance around the circle, like this blue line going around the outside of the circle? All right, well, the radius is half the length of the diameter. See? If you had two radii, that's how you say two radius is the proper way, you'd have the diameter, okay? Well, we can use a ruler and a piece of string to estimate the circumference of a circle, the outside measure around the circle. You use the compass to draw the circle. You could even use the lid of a plastic bowl, couldn't you? Or a bowl. You mark a point at the very center of that center of that circle. You use a ruler to draw the diameter straight across. And you measure the diameter with a metric measure because they're very precise and tiny little millimeters on it. And you can measure it to the nearest millimeter and record that on paper. I got 72 millimeters for straight across. And you can lay a string around the outside of the circle. I used this string and I laid it around the outside and then I measured the string on my metric ruler and I got 225 millimeters. You can use a calculator to divide the circumference measure by the diameter and I recorded the result. 225 millimeters divided by 72 millimeters is about 3.125. So the length of the circumference going all the way around the circle is about three times the diameter. See? This was the length of the string. This was my diameter. And when I divided uh, the diameter into the length of my string, I got 3.125. So it was about three times around. So finding the diameter of a circle we take the measure of the radius, this one's two inches, and we double it to make a diameter measure, which would be four inches. We multiply that by three to get our estimate, and our estimated circumference of this orange circle is 12 inches. Now that's less than the actual circumference because we know from what we did that it's a little bit more than three times around. It's three with a decimal. We're gonna talk about that in the next video. So for estimating, you just take the radius and you multiply it by two to get the diameter. Then you multiply that by three and you have an estimated circumference. The diameter of the Big Ben clock is 23 feet. And to estimate the circumference around the clock face, we just multiply that by three. So three times 23 feet is approximately 69 feet. See, that's a pretty big clock. So remember the circumference is this orange line around. The diameter cuts the circle in half and the radius is half the diameter. So if it said the radius is 10 centimeters, we could double that to 20 to get the diameter and triple the diameter to 60 to get an estimated circumference. If the radius is five feet, we can double that to 10 to get the diameter and then just multiply that by three to get an estimated circumference. It's good for working out in your garden and stuff. If you're trying to find how much fencing is the circumference of your garden, just find out what the radius is, double it, Find the diameter, multiply that by three, and you'll know how much fencing you need. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to talk about exact measures in the next video. I hope to see you there. Bye.